So this is where we left off with our app last time. We have our list of planets and we have routing set up. So when we click on a planet, we're taken to the planet page. But right now we can't really add a new review. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a new review with a mutation. Also, we got a request from the Benny Gesserit from the Dune world to not have the word fear in the reviews because they really don't like this word. We're going to add some business logic to make sure there's no fear in the reviews. Let's go ahead and get started with adding our input form. For the input form, I'm just going to use the search form that we had from before, except we're going to rename everything so it's more of a generic form. Let's just select everything, paste in these renames. This is now called container. This is called input form. Let's rename search.js so it's just input form. Let's update all the imports. Yes. This means planet search now is importing instead of search, it should import from input form. And we also need to rename search to input form. And this is now on submit. We also want to send in a button text and have this be just the button text. Let's have that default to search so we don't have to change our other code. I want to move this input form to, into our shared components. Yes, update the imports. And then in planet search, this should now say on submit. Great, we're ready to use our form in planet.js. Let's go ahead and import our input form in planet.js. We'll also use use state to control the input value. Inside the component, let's create that state. And finally, where we're rendering the list right above the list, let's include our input form. We have the input value, the on change event for the controlled input field, and the on submit event, which right now we're not doing anything, but we're going to be submitting our mutation in a little bit. We can also say button text submit. And let's check out what this looks like. Here's our new form in all its glory. We have our field and our button. It's ready to go for our mutation. Let's go back to Hosura to test our mutation. I'm gonna delete this subscription from before and we'll do add new mutation. Hit that plus. What we want to do is we want to insert reviews. So insert reviews and the body will say fearsome cooking at its best. For the planet ID, I have Giddy Prime's ID again and we'll return the affected rows. Let's give this a try. There we go. We got our new review. Fearsome cooking at its best. Of course, if you noticed, we were able to use the word fear in this review. So now let's implement an action so we can prevent this from happening. Going back to Hasura, what we want to do is change this so that it can accept variables. So this will be the body. This will be the ID. We can rename this add fearless review. And it will accept body, which is a string, and ID, which will be UUID. Let's test this out with some variables. ID will be the same ID, body, oop, not body, body, I fear I ate too much, play. And this also worked. I fear I ate too much. Great. So now we have our mutation and all we have to do is create an action from this. There's a really easy way to do that, which is to use the derive action button. And we have a new action all set up for us for add fearless review. It takes in body and ID and it's got the type for the output. We have the handler here, which we're going to leave it alone for now. We have the kind, it can be synchronous or you can subscribe to the result. If you like, we're going to go with synchronous. And if you like, you can also forward headers. So I'm going to go ahead and create this. 
we created our action successfully. As you can see, there's a code gen tab here. We're gonna go ahead and click that. This is a really convenient feature for us because we don't have to write all of this code. There's kind of a boilerplate prepared for us for our handler code. And there's actually different versions of this here. There's Express, there's TypeScript. We're gonna go with Express. You can also either try it on Glitch or download a starter kit. We're gonna try it on Glitch. So Glitch prepares this Boilerplate Express app for us. And it's got the source folder with the server code. This is just some sample code that we can remove and replace with our own handler code, which we can just copy paste from here. Now let's see what's going on in here. We have a Hasura operation, which is our original mutation with the body and the planet ID. We have execute, which is going to execute that Azura operation on our GraphQL endpoint. And we have the app.post to this route, add fearless review, which actually calls the execute function. And in here, we can add our business logic to check if the review has the word fear in it. Let's just give this a try without any business logic to see if it's even working correctly. I'm gonna copy this route because we're gonna need to add that here in our modify, in our handler. Of course, we need the root also. So let's go back and get the root first. We can find that in share live app and just copy this URL right here. And going back here, I'm gonna paste that in and it's gonna be slash add fearless review. Let's go ahead and save that. What's gonna happen here now is when we call this action, Hasura is going to call this handler on glitch first and run our business logic first so we can do our check. And then inside our handler, we're going to execute the mutation if it checks out. Let's test this out. This is just a mutation right here, but we actually added an action that now shows up in our schema, add fearless review. Let's delete all this stuff, add a new mutation, go to add fearless review and paste in our ID from our evil planet. Right now we don't have any business logic checking for the word fear, so we can say fear is still okay and then affected rows. So what this is going to do is it's going to call our action, our handler first, because we don't have any business logic yet, it's gonna run the mutation as usual. Run this. We actually were able to insert a row. Fear is still okay. Now let's add some business logic to prevent this from happening. So here is my super sophisticated business logic. We have the body coming in from the request and we just lowercase it and check if it includes fear. If it does, we'll return a 400 with the message, fear is the mind killer. So now if we run this, we should get, because we have the fear in here, we should get the error message. And yes, we got the fear is the mind killer message back. Is anything else okay? Everything else is okay. I actually wanna make a quick fix with the order of this. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go to Hasura, data, reviews, modify. Let's add a new column, frequently used columns created at, add this column. And the reviews should be ordered by, order by, created at. We'll also have to get created at. And anything new now should be on top. I think this should be descending. We can try it. Let's update our planet subscription, the reviews part. So copy this part and go back to our code. Reviews should now be ordered by created at. Now when we add a fearless review, it should show up at the top. There we go. Now all I have to do is replace this with variables. So this is just the version with the variables for the body and the ID. I'm gonna copy this and go back to my code. I have some changes to my code here. I am importing use mutation. I have the add review mutation here, which I'm going to paste my mutation in here right now. And I am calling the use mutation function and passing in the add review. It's returning an add review function 
which I am then calling inside the on submit event handler. So when the user clicks on submit, we're calling add review with the variables, the ID for the planet, the input value for the body. And if it succeeds, we're going to set the input value to empty string. If there's an error, we're going to set the input value to the error message. So let's give this a shot. In our app, let's try to add a regular review. Delicious Beatles. So this one succeeds. Let's do one with fear. Fear. And that one says, fear is the mind killer. We got our error message back and everything's working as we expected. So there you go. This is our little baby Yelp clone with some fun features. I hope you enjoyed building it along with me. If you'd like to see more features added to this app, just leave a comment and I'll make more videos. Bye.